Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we will study the anatomy of extensor digitorum muscle. So the extensor digitorum is this long fusiform type of skeletal muscle. And this muscle is one of the superficial muscles of posterior compartment of forearm. So if we just look at the origin of this muscle, so as you can see, this muscle has got its origin through the common extensor tendon from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. And after arising from the lateral epicondyle, the fibers of this muscle form a muscle belly which travels inferiorly towards the distal forearm. And at the distal forearm, this muscle belly divides into four tendons. And these four tendons travel deep to the extensor retinaculum of the wrist, where these four tendons travel through the common tendinous sheath of extensor digitorum and extensor indices muscles. And then along the dorsal aspect of hand, these four tendons insert onto the middle and distal phalanges of lateral four fingers, that is the index, the middle, the ring and the little fingers. The tendinous insertion of this muscle onto the index and little fingers is not shown in this model, but this muscle also has insertion onto the middle and distal phalanges of these two fingers as well. So now if we study a little about the actions performed by this muscle, so it's much obvious from the name of this muscle that this muscle is an extensor of the digits. So simply this muscle extends the digits at the proximal and distal interphalangeal and metacarpophalangeal joints. A second action that is not commonly described is the finger or digit abduction. That is this muscle abducts the fingers, which means that this muscle moves the fingers away from the middle finger. As this muscle also crosses the wrist joint, so this muscle also plays some role in the wrist extension. Now lastly, if you go through the nerve supply, so the extensor digitorum muscle has got its innervation from the deep branch of radial nerve. So this nerve is the radial nerve and this one is the deep branch of radial nerve which actually supplies the extensor digitorum muscle. And the radial nerve itself arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. And if we look at the nerve roots involved in supplying the extensor digitorum muscle, so the anterior rami of 7th and 8th cervical spinal nerves supply the extensor digitorum muscle. So that's all about the extensor digitorum muscle. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.